guys, it's Sunny here. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> Thanks, Yuki. He said it with me today. Today, I'm doing another video reviewing my subscribers' pit enclosures. This is just a series I have on my channel where you guys send me your pit enclosures on Instagram and I have a look at them and review them in my video. Keep in mind that I most of the time only do animals that I have experience with. If you're asking me to review your lizard or bunny or guinea pig or something, I'm probably not going to review that because I don't know enough about them. I just feel more comfortable reviewing animal enclosures of animals that I actually have real experience with. So if you guys want me to review your enclosure in my next video, all you gotta do is post it on Instagram and use the hashtag, hashtag soda pets reviews. This is the best way to get me to see your enclosure. If you DM it to me, I have a lot less chance of seeing it because I get a lot of DMs and Instagram will delete older DMs to make room for newer ones, so I miss out on a lot of messages. So I probably won't see it if you DM it to me, so if you really want me to see it, please use the hashtag and I will most likely see it. But also, I can't get through all of these, I'm definitely going to miss out on some because there is quite a few on here now, so please don't be too upset if I miss out on it. Sometimes I am kind of repeating myself, so you can just take the advice I give other people and see if there's anything on your own enclosure that you can change, you know? So yeah, keep that in mind. So let's just get right into it. So let's just start with a nice little beta fish tank. 20 gallon beta tank. That's a really great size. And also I like that you have a short fin beta in this size tank because sometimes that size could be a little bit too big for beta fish that have super big fins because they struggle to get to the surface but this is fine for this kind of beta. It looks like they have very short fins so it's perfect for them. Might be a female beta actually. But yeah I don't really have anything to add. It looks really great in here. You've got lots of nice plants. So you have a cave back there. Looks really good. There's shrimp in there. Oh my god there's shrimp as well. Oh my god that's so cool. Look at him go. Wait is this how look out about shrimp? Oh my god. Oh my god there's so many shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> it's shrimp day! Every day is shrimp day. <laughs> what is this account? I love it. I think they like shrimp. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like stalking your Instagram account now, but I just saw shrimp and now I want to look at all your shrimp. I don't know a lot about shrimp here because we don't have these kind of shrimp in my country. We only have like saltwater shrimp that we can keep as pets. <sighs> and I hope one day we can. I doubt it, but I just, I love shrimp so much. I wish I could have some one day. <laughs> what is this? This is so funny. I love this account. <laughs> what? This is amazing. If you guys want, by the way, you can just send me pictures of your pets. Like, it doesn't have to be an enclosure review. Like, just post anything on this hashtag that's like pet related and I'll review it honestly. Yuki, <gasps> this Yuki secret account or is this someone else y Yuki? Yuki, you have another friend that's got your name. Where did you go? I don't know, he went somewhere. Oh, Burpfoot is a beta sorority tank. Uh, wait, four girls and one boy. It's 10 gallons. Okay, so personally, I am not a huge fan of sorority tanks just because I know people will probably not like me saying this, but that's just my opinion. I just think that there's still a pretty high risk of things going wrong in sorority tanks. Obviously it can be done. I do think that it can be done sometimes and the tank's really big, but personally still it's not something that I would I would do um, just because there's still a really high risk of something bad happening or just your fish being stressed out. Um, and this is a 10 gallon tank, which I would say is a wee bit small. It's only 40 liters. Um, so that's smaller than this tank. Yeah, that's pretty small. I would probably say at least 20 gallons would be a good minimum. Um, just because it's really best to have as much space as possible if you're doing a sorority tank. Because aggression still is very common in female betas. And also you said you have one boy with them. I mean, they said so far no aggression. So that's good, but... Sometimes you might miss something, you know, it's not you can keep an eye on them 24-7 and there's still a very high risk. Yeah, I, I would personally recommend getting at least 20 gallon um, and I would also definitely plant it a lot more. It looks like you have some leaves in there but they do look like they're rotting so I would definitely get some more plants to create more coverage, more places to hide so if they do become aggressive they can at least try and get away from each other and hopefully not cause too much damage but it is something to always keep in mind that that can happen otherwise I mean you've got a filter and a heater so that's good but um, that's just my opinion honestly like you don't have to listen to me they are very pretty looking 
But yeah, there's always a risk involved when keeping a sorority tank, unfortunately, and I just think that sometimes the risk is too high. It is pretty risky keeping a male in there too, because he could try mate with them and then basically in the wild. Beta fish, uh, male and female beta fish only come together to mate and then the male scares off the female. So this could happen in this tank and there's just not enough room for him to scare her away enough so he'd probably just try and attack her and yeah I definitely would not keep the male in there. That's just me though. Wow this is really cool. I don't think I've reviewed this one. I hope I haven't. Sometimes it's hard for me to remember. Um, wait they have a Excel tank too. Have I reviewed this? This is a naturalistic mouse included for six female mice. This looks so cool. So you have a tank set up. Um, it looks like you've got some mesh lids too. This looks great. You've got so many things to do in there. Look at them running around having fun. They have so much stuff. I love how crowded it is because mice do really love having crowded cages like this. And this looks awesome. It looks like so much fun to be in. So much bedding too for them to borrow. They've got that little like nest thing there that is so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god, that mouse is so pretty. I love like dark colored mice. They're just so beautiful. Like super great enclosure. Nothing I need to add. This is awesome. And same with the XL. Same with the XL tank. I don't know if I reviewed this one already. And I love the hides too. It looks great. So this is a budgie cage. They said it was from their high school, which is very weird to me that a high school had a budgie but this was their first setup at the high school and this is the new one that they have done it looks like the first one they had like a mirror in there uh maybe two mirrors is that also a mirror i think it is one little perch the other one's on the floor so i'm glad you have improved that one um it does look better and a good thing you took out the mirror as well i will say though i do think that this cage uh it does look like it's a bit small um, for a budgie, to be honest, I don't think there's lots of flying room in there. And usually these kind of house-shaped ones tend to be pretty small, just from what I've seen. I don't know the exact dimensions, but just by looking at it, to me it does look a bit small. So if possible, I would recommend changing it to a flight cage. I think that your budgie would really appreciate that. And also adding some more natural perches. I think that one might be... I can't tell. I think it might be. Switching the other perches to natural perches too would be very good for her feet. Rope ones are okay. Also just keep an eye on them. Make sure she's not chewing the rope ones because that can be quite dangerous. So always keep an eye on that. You could also probably add some different toys in there. Although I can't see them super well. Some like foraging toys are always a good idea for budgies and some like papery toys you know. It definitely looks like an improvement from what it was like in your high school so good on you for doing that but I do think it might be a good idea to get her an even bigger cage if possible so she has more room to fly. You painted a canvas of your bunny that is so cool. I think he loves it. Look at his face. Oh my god your bunny's so cute. Ooh nice enclosure too. I'm not gonna review it because I don't know that much about bunnies but I do know this looks good and oh my god this is so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god this is so cute. <laughs> okay Oh yeah, this one's not a um, someone set up to review, but they tagged me in this. I guess they saw it at a store or something and wanted to see what I thought. Like, I, I'm shocked at this. Honestly, a part of me wants to try and buy one of these so I can make a video on it, but not actually put a fish in it. Just do the, put the robo fish in it. Because what the fuck is this? Why is this a thing? Tanks for your friendship. More like, tanks for killing me. Don't leave me here! What the hell? I'm... I'm so confused. Where Where is this? How do they even think of this idea? This is the worst thing I've ever seen. This is actually the worst fish tank I've seen. Isn't the point of a plushie so you can like carry it around and like take it to places and cuddle with it? Are they expecting people to cuddle with a, a fish tank? Like is that what the point is? I, I like I want to know what is the what was the idea when creating this thing nothing like carrying around your unicorn plush that also has a bonus dead beta fish in it thanks for tagging me in this though I'm honestly I've never seen this before very weird feel free to tag me in more stuff like this because I can talk about it in my next video or something because this is so bizarre this is another budgie cage for their six month old budgie and they're planning on getting him a friend soon. Um, this is another situation where I would definitely highly recommend you get a bigger cage, especially if you plan on introducing another friend, because this definitely looks very small for a budgie. Budgies, or all birds really prefer to have longer cages rather than taller cages, because they need room to fly around, and they prefer to fly a long ways, not just up and down. So this definitely, I don't think, will provide enough space for them to fly around, and there's not really enough space to put, like, 
many toys and perches and stuff. You do have a natural perch in there, which is great, but I do think that it's best to um, invest in a flight cage. That way also you can safely introduce another budgie without it being too small and cramped in there because if you do put another one in there it's definitely going to be very cramped. It already is a bit cramped here but if you're going to add another one it's definitely going to be too cramped so I think they will very much appreciate getting a nice flight cage. Here's another budgie. I don't know why there's lots of budgies today but there is a lot. This is a six-year-old female budgie in her cage. She is really pretty by the way. She's a light yellow and blue. Super pretty. And this is a really nice cage for a budgie. I think this is like a good thing to show for a good example is what I would recommend for a budgie cage. This is definitely the kind of one that would suit a budgie or two. She has wooden playground on top of her cage. Awesome. And the toys in her cage are mostly made of natural materials like paper, coconut shell, twine, and a lot of them are handmade. That's so cool. I think it's a great idea to make handmade toys. That way you can know exactly what it's made out of. Know that it's like 100% safe. It's also a lot cheaper than buying some toys. And these turned out great. I mean, also all these toys look really good. You have a great range of different kinds of toys that I'm sure they love to tear apart, which is perfect. You've got natural branches too, awesome. Yeah, this looks great. I don't think I have anything to add. And I think it's all I'm going to do today. So yeah, mostly all good cages today. Keep in mind, if I do give you some criticism, I'm not ever trying to like be rude or anything. I'm just, I mean, you guys know what you're getting into when you send me your cages. I might end up criticizing it a little bit, but I always mean it with in the best intentions. I'm like, there's nothing wrong with making any mistakes. Everyone does. I've made plenty of pet mistakes and it's just part of owning pets. Thank you guys for watching. Like I always say, if you want me to review a pet enclosure or just anything pet related, feel free to use the hashtag Soda Pets Reviews on Instagram so I can see it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank mm -hmm. you.